This is James Mathers at Cinegare Expo 2019. I'm here with David Pringle. Uh, David's the, the founder, the CEO of a company called Luminous, and they also do Soft Sun. And Dave, everybody else is getting smaller and you know uh, lighter with the LEDs. You know, you can plug into a household circuit, but that light that I saw out there, that was a 50k. No, 50. That was, that's all. That's yesterday's news. 50k. <laughs> that was that's uh, 200,000 watt. Uh, uh, yeah, 200k 200k yeah everybody's going small and light and and uh uh, uh but still the uh, the sun uh, doesn't is, get any dimmer uh, no yeah and yeah and you got to fight against the sun or you got to be the sun uh at times and uh, uh if you're doing a set where uh, you want a consistent uh, uh even sunlight uh uh uh, coming through windows or or, or whatever, uh, 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 you've got a few choices. Uh, uh, lining up a bunch of uh, 18Ks or whatever, uh, you've got multiple shadows to deal with. I mean, shadows Which going in very different, different directions. Uh, you do one big broad sun, and uh, boom, right away you're... Uh, See multiple windows, uh, you got the same consistent shadow, very natural, very even, and also our uh, the nature of our technology, the uh, long arc xenon uh, negative pressure doesn't explode, but the more important uh, uh, that the color is consistent throughout the dimming range, and from lamp to lamp to lamp, uh, and uh, uh, so you can. Uh, Feather it and dim it, and and and, and uh, get consistent. Uh, and as uh, we discovered with that technology in our flicker tests, mm -hmm. absolutely no flicker, even yeah. when you dim it. Not mm -hmm. like uh, yeah. not like many of the LEDs. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, you know, HMIs are very prone to flicker. You have to be very careful. But uh, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. none of that with your lights, as mm -hmm. far as we could tell. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I imagine that a big source like that. Can extend uh, the day of a production oh, yeah. when, you you, when the, the sun goes down. You could extend the, sun. the day. Sometimes the uh, TV guys uh, will take a light as their insurance policy. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they're, uh, you know, TV uh, a day is a day. Uh, you finish the location no matter what, uh, 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 and sometimes on features too, depending mm -hmm. on your circumstances. Uh, and you know, pa part way through the day. Uh, you get a, uh, a costume problem or a, 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 an actor problem or something, and suddenly you've got uh, two or three hour delay, and you're uh, going into uh, after sundown. And so uh, uh, that insurance policy is your 50K, 100K, 200K. Uh, uh, some of the crew call it the overtime light. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've, uh, it must be a challenge to keep that power. Do you usually have to have separate uh, generators? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, well, a separate or big, I mean, it depends. Uh, 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 the 50K fits nicely into the uh, 240 system, and as uh, long as you plan for it, uh, just bump up your standard generator a little. The other, the 100K and 200K, uh, are uh, 480. Yeah, that's what uh, I was thinking of. Or, or 380 in Europe. Uh, yeah, but which isn't very common on set. Right. No, well, 480 is around. Well, interesting enough, on the stages, uh, in the studios, uh, uh, they have most of them have here at Paramount where we're set up. It's uh, they just plug this right into the 480. Uh, no big deal. Uh, uh, but uh, 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 certainly on location, uh, you need it, and also on location, uh, uh, I've had uh, uh, production managers come in and, and, and complain and complain, oh, I don't need that light, oh, that's too much money, oh, no, I can't have that. And I had the same guy come back six months later and say, hey, I'm doing a show, i got to have that light. <laughs> what for? Well, because we got clouds rolling in and out, and every time a cloud rolls in, we gotta we got to stop and wait for it to go away. Uh, with your light, we don't stop, just mm -hmm. keep going. <laughs> so, uh, now you, know, you designed all those lights and you build them here? Uh, yes, we design and build everything here. Uh, we have a, uh, gosh, 25, 30 years ago, I was doing a, a Steadicam project in China, and I, I ran across this technology, a little uh, place I ended up buying the factory. 
Uh, we still have the factory there. Uh, and they actually make the lamps. Uh, uh, it's a special art. And but you make the housings here? The housings, electronics, everything we do here in, uh, in, in Los Angeles. And how but do you keep those things cool? That must be a big challenge as well. Well, on the lightning strikes, we keep them cool because they don't stay on long, very yeah. long. <laughs> uh, the bigger lights, uh, we do have to have fans. Um, uh, but they're usually back and yeah, away, usually so using the them outside. And and it's uh, not a big yeah. issue. Uh, although they, you know, they were on stage as well. Uh, uh, we've had them on stage uh, 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 a little while. So there was a setup, 200 Ks on stay on a stage, a big wow. stage, big uh, on a track going all the way around the stage, and on on uh, uh, you know chain hoist. Uh, Going up and down so very quickly, they could they could position the sun uh, on this out you know outside setting. Uh, uh, Eddie Murphy film a while back did a very similar thing, uh, uh-huh. so they could uh, quickly and easily move the the sun around. Uh, and Not the kind of tools I have to work with on my movies, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would well, like to. <laughs> uh, you know, it's all uh, it's all relative. It's all uh, light is light. Uh-huh. Thanks for telling me how the other half live. Uh, Oh, I wish I knew. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, David. Thank you, James. Thanks. Appreciate it.